Let's prepare the debtors control account for 30 June 2020. Let's go through the questions. 1st June 2020, we have a balance for the debtors control account of 167,450. So this will be our opening balance. This is what we're going to start with. Goods sold on credit for $122,340. This means that we have our debtors and they bought on credit. So we made sales to our customers on credit. They'll pay at a later stage. So whenever you see a question and it says on credit, just know that these belong to debtors. So that will be our debtors account and these are sales. Received settlement from debtors of 98,460. Settlement. So these debtors paid off their accounts. They do not owe us as much as they used to owe us anymore, meaning our debtors account will decrease. They will become less. We will have less debtors because some of them paid off their accounts. So if we had 100 debtors and 20 of them paid off their accounts fully, by the end of the day, we only have 80 debtors left. Discount allowed of $29,300. Discount allowed. Sometimes a company may say, we will give you 15% discount if you pay back your debts within 15 days. So if we are selling goods of $1,000 and then we give discount of 15%, that means we give them $150 off that they don't have to pay us. So they will only pay us $850. Returns inwards. So returns inwards is when they return the customer or the debtor or the client returns goods to us. Maybe it didn't fit well or it's not what they expected, but they will return the goods back to us. And this will decrease our debtor's account. Bad debts written off $5,000. So if we had a debtor, sometimes debtors cannot pay off their debts anymore because they have too many debts to pay, too many credit creditors that they have to pay. So debtors is someone that owes another person money. And then a creditor, you owe that person money, if, if that makes sense. So bad debts meaning these debtors are not fit to pay us anymore. They have gone to the court and they have declared themselves as insolvent. They do not have any cash or any money to pay off their debts, so the court writes them off. Accounts settled by contract between debtors and creditors, $16,400. Let me make this one more, much more simple. I have Emma. Emma owes me $500. Today, I take money from Emma of $200. So she, she owes me $500 and I took $200 from her. So Emma doesn't have to pay me the $500 anymore. She can just take off the $200 that I owe her so that she'll only pay me back the $300 because she cannot pay me back $500. Then I have to pay her back the $200 again. So we can just make it more easy. And from the money that she owes me, I can deduct the money I owe her. So $500 minus $200 and she will only have to pay me $300. So that's what we do here in the cases of accounts settled by contract between debtors and creditors. Let's continue and let us prepare our account. So we will start off with first. First June 2020, our opening balance was 167450 Our opening balance... You can say balance brought down was a hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars four hundred and fifty. So remember in our first video I gave you the secret. So in our first video we said 
on your debit side so this is just an abbreviation for your debit and your credit so our trade receivables or you can just say debtors so trade receivables is a new term for debtors is an asset so this means your assets naturally become more on your debit side okay so whenever it becomes less it becomes less on the credit side okay so I gave the formula in the first video I will put the link at the end of this video to watch that video so that is the secret of accounting okay let's go to number two we are done with number one goods sold on credit for a hundred and twenty two thousand three hundred and forty thousand goods sold on credit so when we sold goods on credit we made sales so these are sales so we made a sale of a hundred and twenty two thousand three hundred and forty dollars okay Receive settlement from debtors of ninety eight thousand four hundred and sixty. So we receive settlement, meaning these debtors settled their accounts. They paid off their accounts, and the amount of those who paid off their accounts amounted to ninety eight thousand four hundred and sixty, meaning we are owed less. Ninety eight thousand four hundred and sixty, and we can say this was by the bank. So. <gasps> Excuse me, they owe us less. That's why we put it on the credit side. But when we put it on the debit side, meaning these people bought goods on credit, these are credit sales. So the more people buy on credit, the more they owe us and the more we have to put it on the debit side. Okay. Then discount allowed to $29,300. Discount allowed. Discount allowed. When we allow discount, it means they pay us less. They owe us less because we have rewarded them for paying at an early stage or maybe we have promotions. So this decreases how much these people owe us. And the discount allowed for the month was $29,300. Then we have returns inwards. They return goods back to to us when they return goods back to us we have to deduct the sales that we made because we have deducted it if it's a cash sale and they return it back to us when you return goods to the shop you get your money back so when they return goods from us they do not owe us that much anymore so this is our returns inwards Of forty six thousand seven hundred dollars. Then we have our bad debts written off. These people are written off. They do not owe us anymore because they cannot pay us. So these are people who cannot pay us anymore. Five thousand dollars. So if they cannot owe us anymore, it means that we need to write off, cancel all the the amount of money that they owe us. So after we do this, then we can go to account settled by contra between debtors and creditors, $16,400. So we are going to write off, we will write off what the creditors, we owe the creditors and what the creditors owe us. So we'll just cancel it between each other and that's 16400 so whenever we are done with the T account, we always have to draw these two lines, these little, little boxes. Then we find the amount with the biggest, or the, let's say the column. We find the column with the biggest amount. So the column with the biggest amount between these two is this one. And it is 290790 and then we add the biggest one in both of these columns. Then we find out the amount of this column, how much that amounts to. And it amounts to 195860 And if we deduct this 
from this we will get our closing balance for the month so do not forget to write your dates i'm doing this for tutorial purposes but do not forget to write your dates your dates will always be on this it will be the first thing that you write so our closing balance will be 94930 and then the opening balance for the next month so now it's june so meaning on the 1st of july 2020 our opening balance will be 94930 okay maybe you are asking me why didn't we do the two accounts because every transaction always has two accounts involved but in this question they only asked us to prepare the debtors control account or your trade receivables control account so that's what we did but in the cases of where you have to prepare everything so remember bank we credited bank here okay bank here was credited as we see bank here was credited meaning when we go to the bank account we have to debit our debtors because we received money here from the debtors okay so bank bank here will be debited with debtors of 98460 okay then we have our sales so we made sales of 122340 so our sales will be credited 122340 excuse me 122340 this will be our debtors so the details will always be the account that you are you are using so i mean if there are two accounts let's say bank and sales the bank details will be of sales and the sales details will be of bank so you always use the details of the purpose of what the money was used for okay so sales so remember you can always if you're not sure you can always um remember that sales always increases on your credit side okay and we made sales, credit sales with our debtors. So we added on our credit sales. And bank, we received money, meaning money came in on your debit side. And then we will just credit this. Okay. So if that doesn't make sense, please watch our first video because I explain it perfectly. And I hope this made sense. Please comment for more videos or more questions that we can do. Do subscribe because... We will be posting videos so that you will be notified. Thank you.